what is up y'all welcome back today is going to be a vlog and you guys are coming with me to brooklyn where i will be getting my six month diva cut like touch up and reshaping so i'm going to curls cuts latoya as i always do as i should but we are going to her brooklyn salon today so i hope you guys are excited because i've only ever taken you to her chair at soho but we're going to bk today so i hope you guys are excited and yeah let's get this transformation started All right, ladies and gents, so we have officially arrived to Elmore's Beauty Salon, which is owned by LaToya, who focuses and specializes in natural hair, and her sister, who specializes in sew-ins, wigs, weaves, silk presses, etc. And LaToya is starting my hair, and I am leaving in some of the parts of the haircut service because I really wanted you guys to see, you know, this part in particular um this part especially was the best part of the service and it really warmed my heart and i just want to say you know thank you to you guys for watching my videos and supporting my videos that video that you post a long time ago on youtube mm -hmm. a lot of people be coming out and said, oh, really yeah i saw this video that's why i came to you like it looks stout like it looks magical <laughs> Yeah, it's got, it randomly just, it just started jumping in views, like, it was at maybe a hundred for the longest, mm -hmm. and then like, I want to say last year, nice, 300 yeah, it went to like 300, and then the next day it was like 500, and it like, it's just, just jumping, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I get people messaging me. Mm -hmm. Like, Actually, how did you get the idea to Yeah. Like, one girl messaged me. I, I, she lives somewhere. She doesn't live in New York. But she said, like, I watched your video and you inspired me to go get my hair cut. And I was like, yeah. Girl. Even an older lady, she came, she came up from Connecticut. She said, I went on YouTube and I just gravitated to her um, video. That's and that's why I came to you to get a hair cut. That's crazy. Your videos out there speaking to people, girl. Yeah. That's crazy. I definitely, like, I didn't think it was going to do anything. No. Inspire any people. Because so many of my videos, like, don't. So, I don't really, I just post videos because I like yeah. to post. And several of my videos have randomly started jumping. Like, they were stagnant for the longest, for the longest yeah. and now they're over a thousand, two thousand. That's like, good. Dang, yeah. Because there's somebody out there that wanted that upliftment. Yeah. And that was the reason why I did it, because I was like, even if it's just one person, like... Yeah, you touch someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, Mom, oh, you're inspiring people. <laughs> yeah, girl. Continue to do it. You do what I would try. Alrighty, so focusing back on the cut. So Latoya likes to work in sections on my hair because my hair is very, very, very thick. I have very thick type 4, 4A, 4B, 4C. I literally have all three coils on my head. So she likes to take her time and part my hair into sections. And my hair was stretched. I had just taken out the sew-in that I had for four weeks. So my hair was nice and stretched. And so it was easy to work with the hair and the hair was nice and stretched. So she was able to truly see the length of my hair. So a tip that I would give whenever you know, you're know you going to get a diva cut is to make sure that your hair is stretched. You want your hair to be stretched because they're cutting your hair and it's dry, stretched, natural state. And so it's ideal to, you know, cut hair while it's dry and stretched. 
so i'm not gonna talk too much i'm gonna let you guys see the work and let you see latoya work and it's really crazy because as she continues to cut you can really see the shape coming together and I think that that's what fascinates me the most and that's just what I love about how LaToya cuts hair she truly has a vision you know for cutting hair and she truly has a gift in the eyes for it because some people do not cut hair like this so I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the video until the next part comes up So you guys can see the cut is amazing already. So now she is going and she is washing my hair. So the great thing that I love about going to LaToya's actual salon is that she is the one who not only cuts your hair but styles it as well. And another great thing that I love about going to LaToya's actual salon is that she does not just have Diva Curl products. She does have Myel products as well, which is also what I use in my hair. And that's what she used on my head to, on this particular day. So she did use the shampoo, the conditioner. She used the leave-in as well as the gel in my hair. And my hair was definitely more defined. It was more soft. It was more pliable. It was just a lot easier to work with. And I definitely liked the results of my hair with the Myel products than I did with the Diva Curl products. And something else that even Latoya mentioned, like just with shampooing my hair, you could see, you know, the definition starting to form. So it really just shows that, you know, the products that you use really do have an effect on, you know, your hair and like how it'll turn out. So 
what Latoya does, which is very similar to the Diva Curl, Diva Shan technique, is she runs water and she styles my hair while it's literally drenching wet. So this is what it looks like when it's completely styled. So you can see my hair is literally dripping. Like they don't dry your hair. They literally dr style it while it's wet and dripping. And you sit under the hooded dryer and your hair just eventually dries like that. I also wanted to show as Latoya was doing my hair, she was beginning my mom's haircut, as you saw, and her sister was doing this beautiful woman's wig, and Latoya actually stepped in and did that really intricate and pretty braid that you now see. So Latoya is definitely a multifaceted Renaissance woman, and she definitely knows, you know, what she's doing. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we are tying up and wrapping up my hair. So she took some of the Divashan like sheen spray, spritzed that all over, and there were a few parts of my hair that were still kind of wet. So she's taking the blow dryer and she's just going all through and you know just making sure everything is dry as this is a part of the service. And she wants to, you know, make sure that. It's all dry. So I don't know if you noticed, but it's definitely got a lot more volume, which we love. Like when it first came out, it did not have this much volume and that's because she fluffed my hair and used the dryer. And now she's just going in, adding any last minute finishing touches with her shears. And this is again, something that she does. She cuts the hair the first time around, then she washes it, styles it. And if there are any other little pieces that need to be trimmed or cut, she goes in and she does that. And again, she's just going to take the blow dryer and she spray, she sprays, she blow dries my hair on cool. And this is it, honey. This is it. And I know you guys see the shape. Come on, shape. Come on. Come on. She did what she needed to do, okay? Hello, hello, you beautiful people. So, I know it's been a few days and I was supposed to come back sooner, but I just didn't. So, first of all, just to give you guys a rundown of my experience. So, like I said, I went to Curls Cuts Latoya, as I have been going to for almost two years now. It's about to be two years in January. So, I went to Latoya. And the first time I went to her, I went to her salon in Brooklyn as well. And then I went back again this time around, but with my mom. And... The experience at her actual salon is, in my opinion, 10 times better than um, the Soho, the Divashan Soho salon, only because you can have more conversation. Latoya is with you from start to finish, like she's on your hair from start to finish, versus Divashan, where Latoya is just cutting your hair and then someone else is styling your hair and there's nothing wrong with that but I just feel like it makes it more personable and like even Latoya was saying like sometimes it's it's best it's easier for her to just do it because you can tell the person like the hair type you can tell the stylist like the hair type of the of the client you can tell the hairstylist like 
this is what she wants this is what he wants or whomever and she says sometimes like it still doesn't come out the way that she would envision it so sometimes it's easier for her I also feel like the conversations are great as well so if you have a means to go to the Brooklyn salon I would highly recommend it because it was great this is my hair several days later I ended up doing a twist out on blown dry hair which is what I always do and this is third day hair and my curls are still popping and you can see the shape is just everything so I'm obsessed my battery is low because I didn't charge it but I just wanted to close out this video um, I will have her information in the description box as I always do would 10 out of 10 recommend going if you can because she will get you right and we all need curly cuts we all need hair maintenance so why not go to someone who actually has your best interests interests in, at heart and she works with all hair types not just 1b 2c 3 she works with all so she caters your hair and your hair needs to your hair which I appreciate. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, as always, give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure you follow me on all of my social media. My Instagram is Curls on Kyla. I'm very interactive on there. Also, make sure you follow me on TikTok. Also, a good time over there. And yeah, I think that's it. And I will see you all in my next video, which will be next week on Sunday. So make sure you watch it. Bye.